The new iPod Nano has multi-touch. It's very tiny. So you can hold it in your, just in your hand like this. It's amazing. And super easy to use, and it's so small, we're able to put a clip on it too. So it's instantly wearable. So, multi-touch user interface. It's 46% smaller and 42% lighter. In other words, it's almost half as small and almost half as light as its predecessor. That doesn't happen too often. It's got a clip, so no more armbands when you want to use it for athletics. It's got volume buttons, hard volume buttons, voiceover, FM radio, Nike Plus, pedometer, all sorts of stuff like that. And it works in 29 different languages. So we're really excited about this. It's got 24-hour audio playback. Take a look at some of the screens. So you've got a lot of different screens. You've got the home screen. As you flip through, you've got radio and photos and podcasts and settings. And then all different ways to access your music, songs, albums, composers, genres. And this is what it's like when you scroll through it. You can get these nice big letters to find out you know, where you are. That's what albums look like. It's great to see the album art. Here's some more. The first two are radio up there, the built-in FM radio, photos, and again, the home screen. So this is what it looks like. And so let me just flick some of the screens here. Well, first of all, I can go right into music. I can just hit artist and go just right through like this. And let me go to, uh, oh, E. And I want to find Ella Fitzgerald, and I could just play a song. And again, I can swipe right and go through, or I can just hold down any place, whoops, not there, and get right back to the home screen. So it's very, very easy to navigate around. Uh, let me show you some of the other screens here. So we've got, again, radio, podcasts, and photos, all the different ways of listening to music, and all the other stuff I've got here. So let me say I want to... Uh, I listen to albums a lot, and I want that on the home page. I can just push down and jiggle it and move it, just like I can with my other iOS devices. So now I have albums on the uh, front page. And again, I can just uh, scroll through here. Real easy. The last thing I want to show you was, um, if we go home again, let's go to the home screen. Let's say I clip this on, and I clip it on upside down. Well, I'll just take my two fingers and rotate it and change the screen like that. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the new iPod Touch. Amen.